Hey again everybody and welcome back to our video series. Uh, today I want to talk about total dynamic head and what does that mean for your simple pump. So in any situation where you're lifting water and then doing something that, that with that water, uh, there's a measurement of, of total dynamic head. For our pump, that's really three main measurements. One is the static water level, so it's how, we, how the distance you're lifting from below ground. So then now you've got water to the surface. Next would be, are you doing anything else vertically with that water? Are you pumping to a tank that's up on a hill? Or is your home 20 feet higher vertically than the ground level? So that's an important piece to know as well. The last thing is pressure. Are you gonna try and pump into pressure? Uh, 45 PSI is equivalent to 100 foot of lift. Uh, so if you think about, you wanna get 45 PSI in your pressure tank, it's the same as if your water level was 100 feet deeper. Uh, so why are these numbers relevant? Really looking at it in two different parts, and I'll talk about the hand pump to begin with. Uh, for the hand pump, we have three different levels, uh, maximum levels based on the actual pumping cylinder you use. Uh, the 100 cylinder can go as deep as, as much lift as 325 feet. The 125 cylinder can handle as much lift as 225 feet. And the 200 cylinder can handle as much lift as 110 feet. Uh, within those different cylinders, we also have breakpoints on where we suggest either the 24-inch lever arm or the 36-inch lever arm. So for us to know everything you plan on doing in regards to lift with the pump is very critical. Uh, for example, I've seen situations where a customer wants to pump into pressure later or decides to pump it up a hill, uh, but they had the 125 cylinder and now they're going to be way beyond that 225-foot lift. Uh, so they've got to pull the pump and they've got to put a 100 cylinder down in order to lift it to that level. Uh, so really having a, a strategy or a plan around what you're going to be doing with your hand pump is, is good to know up front. Uh, so that covers the, the hand pump. Uh, if you look at our DC drive systems, they have a different, uh, different level uh, maximums for those different cylinders. Uh, so for the 100 cylinder, uh, the 24 volt system can handle 225 feet of lift. The 12 volt system can handle 200 feet of lift. If you go to our one, 125 cylinder, the maximum with the 24 volt system is 150 feet of lift. And for the, 100, for the 12 volt system, it's 125 feet of lift. Uh, for our large, much larger 200 cylinder, uh, the 24 volt can handle 50 feet of lift and the 12 volt can handle 40 feet of lift. Uh, and again, you, even with the drive system, you've got to take into account that static water level, that vertical rise above ground level that you're taking it, or any pressure that you plan to pump into it. Uh, so as you can see, there's multiple factors here that allow us to configure your system and get you something that will run reliably and, and will be, you know, you'll physically be able to do. Uh, so that's, if you have any questions about uh, lift or total dynamic head, uh, you're always welcome to give us a call.